Hello and welcome to another Sleepy Limpets video. Today we are out on the boat and we are in search of cod and pollock. Uh, I've got mate Tom, he's busy setting his trim tabs up, his new toys. Uh, and we're going to fish some inshore rocks and reefs uh, with light lures and jigs. That's the plan. So we're going to, uh, yeah, get going. Just getting little things pecking away at this big lure. God, it's Baltic. Fish are too small for me, lure. I'm tempted to downsize just to uh, get the, to avoid the blank, but I know it's just going to be tiny. Just little things. Possibly. Right, and out here, just littles. So let's, uh, I'm going to move off and try a different mark. Oh. Got a good thump on the way down there. Oh, and again. Oh, stop it. Rather than jigging up and down, um, I'm actually using the reverse on my reel, a fixed spool. I quite like doing that. It means that you can control the rate of descent so you can fish quite heavy and quite shallow. This BG Mag Seal's got that, but the BG Mag BGMQ doesn't have it. Which is something I don't like about that reel. But I'm gonna maybe cheat a little bit. Berkeley Gulp. There's um, a crazy leg jerk head. Jerk shad, sorry. Five inch. Smell like, um, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like gone off scampy fries, if you can ever imagine that. Absolutely stink. Oh, that one's been used. 400% more scent dispersal than other scented baits, like, I don't know, like the Miriaki Ice Isome which is a, a classic. Basically like a curly tail, but it's got two of them. Pink, I'm gonna stick that on a 40 gram Cheb. And a 1 Gamakatsu, sorry, no, 2 -oh Gamakatsu bottom. A worm hook, like that. Oh, nice. I've had fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting them on, Lewis? <laughs> First fish to the uh, Berkeley Gulp. First drop, straight away, bang on to a fish. Is it the scent or is it the lure? Let's try that again. <laughs> Straight away. Little codlin this time.
Well, it's three fish and three drift and three drops. Pretty much as soon as it hits the bottom. The rod. Not massive. This one's slightly bigger than the last one. Something smashed it there. <laughs> Must have been a pollock. Hit it from underneath. <whistles> Tom. <laughs> oh, it's Feels like a canny codlin. Thought I was stuck on the bottom for a moment. Oh, away from the motor. There's a chunk. <laughs> oh. Come here. Teeth are so sharp. Well, there we go. It's a nice one. It's about, I don't know, five and a bit pounds. Got a really, really chunky head. And stupidly sharp teeth. Found a good little patch of coddle in here. Unfortunately though, this lure is absolutely ru ruined. I'm gonna need to put another on. And this is my last one. Straight on. I've definitely found it. A canny little school here. Shoal, school, don't know. All seem to go. Straight for the motor. Another one. Take a bit of drag this one. Pollock, that's why. Oh, he's ruined my lure. It's a chunk that. Well, that fish absolutely wrecked that lure again, so I'm now going to try the Nemesis Prawn, four inch, curly tail. 
natural shrimp flavour. Suspect this might be like um, scampi fries again. It makes us feel hungry. Oh, they smell worse than uh, scampi fries. I'm not so hungry now. A little bit short. Uh, it's got quite a deep belly actually. It might struggle with this uh, this hook. This doesn't have a slit in the belly. Be better on a jig than a than a weedless hook, I think. But the cod seem to be biting hard, so I'll give it a go. <laughs> it's got to be a pollock. Well, Prawn works as well. So we're in 41 feet. Sorry, I still haven't figured out if my fish finder can uh, can work in meters. So we're in 44 feet. I'm using 40 gram jig, so that's what I announce in a, in a little bit. Uh, and the water temperature is 12.4 degrees. So not overly warm. But that's what we want at this time of year. It brings the, uh, the cod a little bit closer into shore. So not far out here, I think we're maybe, what, a mile, half a mile. We're drifting at about half a knot, which is, uh, for me, fishing to this sort of weight is uh, it's quite a nice drift speed. I'm nowhere near vertical, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just left out there. There we go. So, we're uh, tip up. At the, uh, the mark I was talking about, and I've picked up Steve. Steve was meant to be here earlier, but um, had car, car issues. So uh, I went and pick him up, come down now we're at the, uh, where we were, hoping to fish earlier on and uh, yeah, get into some cotton pollock, I think. The lads on the other boat have been reeling them in, so it's, uh, it's looking good around here. I think it's just weed. Oh, I can see the bottom. Oh, how did that snap off? Kept me leader. How the hell did that happen? Yeah. 
Yeah. Coming up with some structure here, like. Let's see how that, like. Let's see that look by the Oh, oh nice! That was right on the oh, surface as well. <laughs> I saw it come and hit your lure. Wow! <laughs> Deserves a net that way. <laughs> Come here. You need a bigger net. <laughs> what a fella. I would that's say that's a double. 100%. I would say that's like. 12? I was going to say 10 and a half. Oh, okay. I'll take 10 and a half then. There you go. It's all yours. Hold up the camera, mate. Whoa! Jesus, fish. My God, man! <laughs> oh God, it's kicking off. I was just grab that. Was it? Oh, I thought that was a fish. It was. Yeah. Oh. Banging away. It was. It's a fish. It's just. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, that was so close to catching your rod there. I know. <laughs> oh, it's out. Oh my god. Let's clear this deck up. Oh, it's good to get my ferries. It has. What size was that, by the way? I would say that was. I don't know, we didn't get a chance. <laughs> I've got it in gear. Driving, man. Auto driving. I'm going to get a lure on and then we'll move again. Where did I put? I've got the. Oh, there's still fish straight down, mate. <clears throat> Well, I saw that smash. I saw the. I see it come out the water, come out the kelp and hit it. Yeah, I saw it hit your lure, like. Yeah, and then it literally, as it hit the lure, it was more or less. Oh, look at that. Out the water. Oh, that's the teeth. Yeah. That's the teeth for that. Mate, that was what you had on there was a big, big fish, like. Uh, it just you, it just straightened your rod and it was just taking line. Yeah. Wow, that was weird, weird. <laughs> oh my. I think we found a school of them here. Steve's just hooked straight into another. Good one, <laughs> a good one. Half the size of what you just caught. I'll take it though. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> See how shallow that was? Yeah. No, it's not. It's tiny. Come here. <laughs> There's big fish to be caught. I've just been, got my personal best anyway. So I'm happy with that. Aye. Right. Makes up for this morning, eh? I would, I would like to have caught it further out. <laughs> but uh, to get more of a battle with it, but I think I might have even lost it if it was, if it was further out because it would have just done what you buried us. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. It took it? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> that was a coddling, that. Oh, was it? Aye. Right. Oh, oh, <laughs> get in! Get it! Whoa! <laughs> Mine's tiny. It's not bad. Oh, never good in this. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's our turn now, mate. They're not catching. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh what? Nathan, Nathan. Yeah, surface. Well, I did not black it, no, mate. Some big underwear. Oh. It's not even that big. <laughs> nice little one. <laughs> Just reset that drift, hopefully uh, get into some more of those fish. That, that, that. The drift's changed. It's on the right track. No, we're not, we're not far enough over. Are we? <coughs> right, well, according to the black and white line on the sat nav, uh, yeah. that's... Uh, yeah, that's where... <laughs> Take it. Ooh. Doesn't it just sink too slow? <laughs> See that head. <laughs> Fighting? Is it cod? No, it's too white. Chunky that. Absolutely battered old fish minnow, 60 gram head. Uh, nice, I don't know, six, six and a half. It's had a bit of a chunk taken out of it. Pretty much mirror image that uh, that last drift. Took it on the straight retriever. Could. Minute. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Cod? Don't know. We're in the cod zone. Yeah, I think it is like yeah. Noddy nod cod. Yeah. No, no, Pollock. Pollock, yeah, I love Pollock. Come back to the white again. Something mid water. Yeah, be happy with that from the shore all day long. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw that mid water and I dropped down onto it. It's not that big. I <laughs> know. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, there is. I just uh, find yourself there. So Steve pulled in his fish, and I saw a fish midwater, and just dropped straight onto it and lift, closed the bail arm, and I was like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Gonna get this back and get some more. Water, like you said, well, that's just brought me um, the floor a bit higher. We're on the bottom. Cuddling. I know, it was mid water as well. Weird. Look, there's some more. Good. Two, three meters off the bottom. We have the cod. <laughs> <laughs> they hit like trains, like, oh, it's off. Joking. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> I'm not going to catch anything with that. Come off the shore. I wonder if you can wild cut that cape. That'd be a good shot. You've got the double figure. Put a around, collar around. Another massive one. Up this off. Yeah, it's, there's no rules, mate. It's fishing. The sounder. <laughs> That was pinned up like it wasn't good enough, was he? Yeah. <laughs> Whoopee!